Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I am Ahmed Adnan. So now in this video we are going to discuss about how to create partition rank in Power Query. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So this is really an interesting topic for me actually because there are little things which we may need to learn something new on this video. I'm sure on that. So now let's go to Power BI desktop. Let me go to Power Query editor here and here. So what needs to be done here is the dynamic rank partition rank. Okay. So now if you see this one, this is a category and this subcategory and category has uh, index one, which is bike is one component is two clothing is three. And if you look at it in the subcategory, this is mountain bikes one, two, three. And again, it resets on again the next category and it goes down till 14. And again, it resets and it goes down till eight. And again, it's breakdown is ends at 10 here. So in a 12 here. So these are the main category and the subcategory and the serial number is splitting, resetting at every level. So the reset is nothing but a kind of partition. If you are from a SQL background, then you might aware of that. So basically, it's just resetting the serial number at each category level. That's the thing here. So if you go to this advanced editor, um, how it is done is basically this is coming from a SQL source and uh, this is dim product subcategory one. So as this is a table which has a relationship built in the database itself if you go to navigation now and if i go to the right side here i can see the product dim product and dim category here basically this dim subcategory has the relationship between the dim product and also the dim category so you can click on this icon and then you can just remove this one and select only this dim english product category name once you do so it will create a new step expanded dim product category and it will give you this dim english product category name as a column value here that's the cool thing right and after that if i remove all the unnecessary column just keep this english product category name and the subcategory name here and i'm going to rename this just to simplify that category and subcategory and after that i am just creating a group by here what group by yes if I click on this one and if I click on the gear icon, you will understand about this one. So let me zoom this here. So I just selected this category column and then I just type this column name as a data and under the operation, I just clicked on all rows here at the end. So this is a new thing, right? So if I click on this one, this just gives me information about this category and the data, which is subcategory is not available here. here. If I click on this column, and at the bottom, you can see this bikes has three and in component, it just shows many records here. And for clothing, it just shows records here. And also for accessories, it shows these records here. That's the cool thing, right? It just groups everything into your table. And after that, I'm just using add a column, which is coming from add and add index column. So this I've added here, add index column here. And after that, I am going to add an additional column, which is add custom column. So here, if you go to add column on the top and then add custom column here, it will ask you for insert a step because I'm inserting a new step here. That's okay. And this will go give you this option here, custom column demo. I'm going to give it here, YouTube demo. And here I'm just using double quote here, nothing. I'm just passing a blank value here and click on okay. This is going to add a new column here, custom YouTube demo. That's fine. And now what you need to do here, you just need to. So after this, what you need to do is basically you click on this index column, which you added here, right? You copy everything from this one. Okay. You just copy it now. I just use control C. I just copied the column here and coming to this one, the newly created column here. Instead of this double code, I'm just placing, pasting this, the one which I copied here. Let me expand this. I just pasted here what I've copied here. And after that, instead of these group rows, basically, if I open this one, 
the intelligent what it says is asking to create a table right so basically each and every step is a table in power query right so now i need to pass this column name actually so i'm going to pass this data the column name on this one basically inside to this one it's a table right so once i do so and click on fx here then this will create this information and if i click on this step this creates an index column inside to this table itself this is a kind of trick right so let me repeat what i have done here so basically i just added an index column that's fine and then i added a custom column which doesn't have any value here i just use double quote here and enter it just gives a blank value here nothing is here i just copy it again go back to previous step and i copy everything from this one to add an index column and now coming back to this custom column i remove these two things and paste that value and after that before committing i just want to create it inside to this data table which is basically this column right if i for that if i click on commit this actually creates one more table here and here if i click on this one i just see bikes and mountain bikes here and if i click on this one i had see bikes mountain plus one index column which is basically in adding an index column inside to this one that's really cool right so these are the two things which i have added here this basically does the same thing i want to remove this one so it creates an index column here i just rename this to be sub category index here and after that i want to expand this table so if i click on this one and i can expand whatever i need here so if i expanded here to be bikes mountain bikes and the index which is automatically brought up here that's cool thing and now i need to remove whatever i don't need here so i just keep the category index and sub category and index one and after that i just rename this to category category index sub category sub category index so now if you look at the result here i have this bikes 1 2 3 and everything is fine and for bikes it just resets number after that for components it just begins from 1 and for clothing it begins from 1 so this is the way how you can able to create partition kind of index in power query by using this small trick so if you are not clearly understand about this now please i request you to watch this video one more time so that we can clearly understand about these things If you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video